Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this installment of 3D DIY Tech. Um, on this episode, what I wanted to do is actually cover out um, the making of the spool from Thingiverse. I, I found this rather interesting and really curious about how it worked. Again, we have tons and tons of cables around here and uh, looking for some means to store it. And you can kind of see we've got an Apple cable here. And the idea is, is again, just kind of wrap this around here. And uh, voila, you have um, basically a spool to hold your cables. Now, I've got tons and tons of cables, so I thought about printing several of these as a means to store the cables and then they just kind of pop through here to kind of hold it. It's a little bit tight with this 40 pin but you get the idea. Now one of the things so uh, a after this portion of the video I'll show printing one actually but for this section what I want to do is just kind of uh, hit how this works. So uh, basically this is about Oh, three and a half inches in diameter, um, and it probably is so oh, three quarters of an inch wide, and so in about an inch deep. So it, it'll actually hold quite a bit of cable. However, uh, it is uh, pretty thin. It is pretty flimsy. Now, I printed these at a 10% fill, standard shells, nothing fancy. Um, so. They are again kind of lightweight, and you see this one here. Actually, the uh, the inner piece, this piece on the one I have together, has broken off because it is very, very thin walled. It takes about four meters of plastic to print at that uh, density. How does this go together? Obviously, it prints two pieces. I printed it out uh, basically as you see here on the camera, on the printer, on the Da Vinci, and it is kind of interesting because there are there are ribs and there are counter ribs in here and then there's also you can kind of see the uh, uh, slots and these slots slide into this so so basically all one does is push this roughly together and we hope it all kind of, kind of goes together which see this one's already starting to crack but the, but the good piece is there's enough even if it does crack like this one you can kind of glue it together so um, I would definitely just plan on gluing these together because uh, them going together is a little bit difficult. I don't know if I printed them with a little bit more infill if this would be better or not. Uh, but Okay, so there we go. We, we, we got it together. And like I say, this one did crack a little bit um, in here. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually take a little acetone on a Q-tip, swap it around in here, and the two will glue together. But, um, you know, for just regular storage, kind of interesting. What I think would be even more interesting if this was the size of, let's say, a standard wooden dowel or something. So you could put these on a wooden dowel and build something on a pegboard where you put all your cables on and just spun them around. Um, so so kind of neat. I think I might remix these a little bit. But uh, again, I've been kind of curious for quite a while on Thingiverse about printing a few of these. And so did it and kind of wanted to share it with uh, the YouTube subscribers. So hope you hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please hit like and we'll see you in the next episode.